Well, the, the debate over defense funding has been bogged down uh, because of the politics in the House right now. And, of course, your blockade against military promotions in protest of the Pentagon abortion travel policy remains in place. You've decried what you've called uh, a woke policy, a woke military, uh, Senator, and you voted against the confirmation of General C.Q. Brown as uh, the now chairman of the Joint Chiefs. Is the new chairman woke? I th think he's got some woke policies. I, I like CQ. I've had him in my office several times back when he was chief of the Air Force. Uh, but you voted against person. him. He's a, he's a good person. He believes in what he's doing. We all have, you have to believe in what you're doing. Uh, now, he, he doesn't have really have any authority other than giving advice to the president. He, he's, he's a general, but he's not really over the Army, Air Force, Navy. Uh, he has to, to just give uh, information and advice to the president. Uh, I think he'll do a good job, but I heard him say a few things that, that really didn't fit with me in terms of making our military better and better. you got to remember, you know, we have a free what country. What was it, though, specifically, Senator? Well, we have a free country. We have things that, that we need to do to make sure that, that, that we can uphold, and we can't do that without a great, hard, strong military. Now, uh, I heard some things that he talked about, about race and things that he wanted to mix into the military. Let me tell you something. Our military is not an equal opportunity employer. We're looking for the best of best to do whatever. We're not lo looking for uh, uh, different groups, social justice groups. We don't want to single-handedly destroy our military from within. We all need to be one. It's like a football team I coach. You can't have different groups. Everybody's got to be together to win. There's no second place in war. And so uh, I listen to all these generals and admirals, and, and we have some great ones. We have some great military people, but there's some in there that have a different agenda to make sure that they get their quotas in. And we're not a quota. Uh, yeah. This is a military that's... But when so you say race, strong. Senator, that, that's, that can, can you tell us what you mean by Are you talking about enhancing diversity at the Pentagon? What is it about race that bothers you about the new chairman of the Joint Chiefs? Well, he, he came out and said we need, we need certain groups, um, more pilots, certain groups to, to have an opportunity to be pilots. Listen, uh, I want it to be on merit. I want our military to be the best. I want the best people. I don't care who they are, men, women. It doesn't make any di difference, Catholics, uh, Protestants. Hey, I, I want everybody to believe in the one goal that we have in this country for our military is to protect the taxpayers, to protect the United States of America. Don't give me this stuff about equal opportunity because that's not what this military is about. Talk about making the best, training the best, and being the best of this world. Because if we're not, as I said earlier, there's no second place in war. And we live in a very dangerous place right now in terms of our foreign policy.